It was another night in the void. Doing just another job. A simple infiltration. The question weighed heavily on my mind. Even when I reached the server room, my mind was distracted. Whose body was I in? Whose memories did these belong to? If there were a line, it had long since disappeared. With data in my soul and memories of many in my head, I looked outside. Ringing alarms told me just one thing. The night had only just begun. Whoa, whoa. Where are we... All right, here we go. So we're looking around. Got two guns, which is objectively better than one gun. Wait, what? Oh god, we're falling. <laughs> oh man. Oh, cool. All right, wait, what? I've got a rocket launcher thing. Oh, laser blaster, a katana. Does it just randomize? Oh, that's so cool. Come here, come here. I'll give you a piece of my katana or wielding mine. Oh, yeah. Okay, I apologize for the lack of any coherent commentary on this particular game, but I'm really excited. What is going on? Oh, oh. Oh. The katana, you pretty much have to click on someone. There we go. Laser right, go. Where's my... There's my... Right I saw it. Jeez. Oh, man. I apologize if you suffer from seizures. Please turn this video off 34 seconds ago. Okay. Repeatedly swinging the thing doesn't do anything. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh, it's getting even crazier. I can't see where I'm going. Search for a human body. Where would a human body be? I don't understand. Zero data nodes out of two. Oh. There we go. This one seems to be the most effective. I keep seeing images of people, but like, I don't know. What is going on? That one. Oh, what? So, okay. So as I'm falling through this matrix thing, whenever I run out of health, I can just take over the body of one of my enemies. Oh, that is so bizarre. This game is really weird. I don't even know if I have the stomach to jump again. Gosh. Um. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We'll do it one more time. We'll go one more time. So, are we even... I guess, like, the only thing I can think of is we are supposed to be shooting these people. These robots and humans. But like every time we run out of memory or we, our body gets damaged, we just switch to a different one. Kind of a la super hot. Speaking of super hot, that's a game that I really want to play on this channel someday. I haven't got around to it yet because um, it takes a significant amount of setup, but I will get there. Oop. Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so wait. Does killing them jumps me to that person? Okay, I understand. So then when we fall through the... Through this... No, wait. That guy has two guns. I'm confused. There, that guy has a sword. So now I have a sword. What am I doing? I am so confused. I've, I've understand, I have like, I now understand the perspective changes, um, every time I kill someone, I, okay, 
let's take a second and think about this. So every time I kill someone, I switch bodies with them. I like accumulate their memories, I guess. And then I'm so I'm supposed to defeat my rival, not shoot everybody, but I don't know who my rival is. Do those flashes show you who your rival is or do those flashes show you pointless things? Cause I'm not really sure like what the dog and the girl have to do with anything. Uh, man i don't know but this is an interesting little game um i'm sorry for not introducing it before i started playing it but as soon as you run it there's no title screen so this game is called bullet soul hacker it was part of the cyberpunk jam uh check it out if you think you can do a better job than me and actually figure out what this game's about i also really have to give them props for using the unity default texture to such good effect <laughs> that checkerboard pattern appears on in unity whenever you don't have a texture on an object and it just looks really cool in this game so i will give it that all right i'm out bye guys